Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. Uh, first, I'm going to apologize for an odd noise you may hear during the video. Um, I have said on many occasions that I am in my basement and I'm right near our sump pump and we are getting rain in Buffalo. So um, <laughs> you may hear that noise. So I, I apologize for that um, in advance. Um, I started this earlier. I wasn't really going to get quite this far. These are not together. These are just yet. And that's what we're going to do. Um, <clears throat> but there was a, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of a work emergency. And um, I needed to uh, leave. And then I came back and got into other things. And then I fell asleep in the chair. And then I, yeah, so it's been one of those nights. Anyway, so it's like, after 11 o'clock at night here and um, I was gonna leave really doing this till tomorrow but I decided to just kind of get it done tonight and get it up so this is and there's that noise uh, this is um, these are the um, tags I did just wake up <laughs> these are the tags uh, for our hidden pocket page or secret pocket page however we want to um, whatever we would like to call it. Um, they're just the pieces. I did not put them together yet. So let me just move them to the side and we'll work on one at a time here. I don't want to, I don't want to separate them. I do want to keep them together. I shouldn't need my ink. So let me put that away. Okay. Let me try to just move them. Somebody is up upstairs right now. Just get these to the side and we'll start with this one. So I'll just show you what I did. All I did was take those cards and I did recut a couple of cards um, because they, uh, it's not that they didn't fit, but I had a little bit more room. Um, I can make it a little wider. So I did do a couple or three, uh, maybe I don't know, a quarter of an inch or, you know, almost half an inch or something uh, wider. <clears throat> I lined, <clears throat> excuse me, I lined the, uh, reaching over here in my scrap bucket, trying to get the paper. This was the paper that I used. It's a, it's a digital I had gotten from someplace. I'm not sure what it was, just a background paper. It was a bigger sheet. And I cut out the um, bits that I needed, just glued the card down to the sheet, because you all know that I work with everything on copy paper, and then if I need to make it thicker, I just attach it to something. Uh, I inked the edges, so I've got this. I'm going to hold this up a little bit. I don't know how well you can see the design, and I don't know how well it picks up the color, but it's got like a little bit of like a, a bluish green, and there's... A little bit of golden color and some beigey and it's just sort of marbleized very very lightly so that was the color um, the background because most of it was going to be covered so I just wanted something with a little bit of interest but it didn't it you know didn't have to have a lot of pattern or anything the next thing I did which I don't have any spare of it was just a piece of cardstock kind of a maroony brown color. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll put it, I don't know if this is going to be any better. This is the back of the page that we're working on, but it's kind of a maroony brown color. It too has a bit of a pattern in it, but you really can't see it here at all. I just decided that I wanted something uh, framing the picture that was dark, um, like a brownish color rather than something light. So, um, so I did that to all of the pictures, so they are glued together on to this, and I did ink the edges here, but um, I'm not worried about the back. Then I did some fussy cutting of my flowers, and uh, I'm going to place these on here, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the tags. So what I'm going to do with the tags is I went ahead and I cut out from these, and these were from G's, um, Happiness and Crafting, or Shabby Chic, French Shabby Chic, I think it's called. Got to try to remember to get all the right names. <laughs> because I did, I think, say in um, the, pre the previous video, I guess the first video, 
named sort of the, the places where I got the papers from. And I think I said Shabby Art Boutique, which I do have papers from them, but that was not it. It was Shabby Cottage Art is what it was, I believe. Totally different place um, where some of the papers had come from. And I do believe that these photographs are from Artie Mays. I think these are Artie Mays um, photos. So we are going to glue these down, but what I did was I, I had said I was going to do maybe hearts or butterflies or something to make the tabs out of, but what I decided to do was I just made them out of the paper. So all I did was uh, take the paper, backed it onto card. I did ink in here because when you fold it, not so much in this one, bad, 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 bad choice there on that one. When you fold it, you might see the edges up here. Okay. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Um, with those so that you can hide the tag in or the card in the um, um, pocket. So, and yes, I'm not sure how this is going to sound <laughs> on the video, but it does sound like I'm, yeah, it's not a good sound. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to glue, oops, get this cleaned out a little bit more. Okay, there we go. I really got to get another garbage can on the other side of me. I'm going to glue the pictures down, I think, with the... Um, Fabri-Tac here. I'll probably use... Maybe, maybe not. I'll probably use the... Uh, I did still did not fill up that bottle of glue for the um, art glitter glue. So... I will, I may use the, um, I may use the art glitter glue to put the, um, flowers down. I've said before that I really do like, um, I hope this is straight. I really can't quite tell. I really do like having the fabric tack because it, um, and my little tiny tweezers, these come in so handy. I can hold if I can get it in now because I have to do it from the side. Um, I I like having the ability to. Um, this is not holding the way I would want it to. There we go. I like having the ability to move things um, if it's not quite in the right place. And now, at least for the time being, as I adjust. Um, I may be finding I need a whole lot, need to use um, the uh, Fabri-Tac a whole lot more than I would use the Art Glitter Glue simply to, um, simply to be able to have the ability to move it somewhat. I think I want it to go this way. So we're going to put that down there like that. It should have everything. All right, and I'm going to show you, I'm trying to remember, I think this one was from this pocket here. I think it came out of this pocket in either case. Um, because it's here, and this is pretty plain, I'm going to take one that's got a pretty good sized flower on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the pocket. I'm going to try to do this and I'm going to put it so that it goes into the pocket like this and then the tab is going to be on it like that and I think that is sufficient. So let me pull that tag back out which is a little difficult without a tab on it and that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to glue it down I think I don't want it too, too far down. I think that'll be okay. Let me just put, put this out of the way while I'm working on that. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to flip it to the back. I want to try to get it where I think I want it. I'm going to find my pencil. And I'm going to draw a line right here. I think that's straight or mostly straight. 
And what that's going to tell me is to not glue here. So I'm going to take glue then, and I'm going to put it all over the rest. Yeah, that's right. I wanted the flower on the front. Um, I'm going to put it all over the rest of the back of the tab. Okay. And I'm going to try this way. Okay, I want to lay this back here again, line up where I think should be in about the middle, line up the pencil mark somewhat straight, and hopefully I'm right. And then we're going to just glue that tab down. Okay, so we have the tab. And I do want it to sit a little bit before I put it in the pocket. But the tab will do this. Can you see that? And that's what's important. Okay, I want to make sure I got it glued real, real close here. Because that is what's going to keep it. So that it goes over the edge of the pocket. So the tag goes in. And the tab sits outside. So now... I'm just gluing right up to the edge here. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. When you're here, you can see that it's thicker. But it looks like now it just became part of the collage. Okay? And then you just pull the tag out from the pocket. So that's that one done. Okay? So that's all we're doing. So now let's get another one. Um, I think we're going to do this one, and I've got this leaning, and it's oozing out a little bit. So let me close that up while I kind of work a little bit here. Got my napkin. I'm talking a little bit lower because I am below the bedrooms here in the basement, and everybody's sleeping upstairs. So I'm trying to keep it a little quieter. Everybody but my dog. I can hear my dog, Gus, wandering around. It's, it's funny. I've had, I've had a lot of animals over my lifetime. But since I've had, uh, in my marriage, I've had three dogs. And I've had three dogs and three hamsters and four birds. And, um... I've had, actually I've had four dogs. Um, I've had two male dogs and two female dogs. And three of them were labs. Two males were labs and one female was a lab and one female was a pit bull mix um, that we had kind of rescued. Um, she was in our... Um, center that we run uh, or one of the centers that we've run because with the um, church that I belong to and again I don't usually I don't say because I try to keep mostly that work out of this um, this is <laughs> this is my more personal and private stuff um, for myself um, but we get moved around a lot, as, as you know, if you've been uh, listening and watching my videos. And um, on more than one occasion, we have had to close a center. And uh, just try to make sure I get this all on. Because again, I've got the art glitter glue here. I think I've, I might have to snip a couple edges but that's not bad so when we were in this one center that we ended up having to close the dog that was there as a center dog and we no longer um, keep center dogs sadly for um, legal reasons somebody decides they don't like a dog or something like that or they don't like dogs and they give us a hard time sometimes um, 
that's another story and I'm not going to get into that here. Um, but um, when we closed it and we were leaving that appointment to go to another uh, state, to another appointment, this dog would have had no home. She had no place to go. So we brought her with us. Her name was Sally. And um, she was just a sweetheart. So, all right, this one's got a lot of flour on it. So I'm going to take this tab and put this tab on it. So I am going to, it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter which side, really. And I just want to draw that line down with the pencil. I'm going to put the glue on it. Um, but anyway, I noticed with the two males that we had um, that they get up during the night and they tend to wander around. Um, I don't know if it was just them as individuals. Now, the labs that we had all came from my mother and fa uh, mother and father-in-law's uh, breeding kennel. Um, so it could be that they were just picking up some characteristics of, um, you know, just, you know, a, 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 a genetic characteristic or something. I'm not sure. Um, but the male dogs would either, you know, they, they'd lay in the hallway, then the next thing you know, they were by the front door, then they were here or that they were there. I'm going to pull that up just a little bit so it's a little bit off the flowers. Got a little bit of room to play with this one. So, And again, I've got that little tab, but I'm pressing because I'm using the um, Fabri-Tac so it doesn't um, hold immediately. You know, it, it's easy to pull it away. So I'm just going to put that one up here and I go work on the next one. <clears throat> So anyway, um, yeah, so our first lab, Jesse, he would do that. Um, almost like he would get up and switch places, sort of like guarding the house. It was almost like just kind of, you know, going in different spots and, uh, you know, getting up during the night and just kind of, he'd sleep here for an hour or two, then the next thing you know, you'd hear him and he'd walk someplace else and he'd sleep someplace else for an hour or two. And it was just a, a strange kind of thing. The girls on the other hand would settle themselves in on a blanket at the end of the bed, not on the bed. Cause, um, I know a lot of people say, Oh, you don't let your animals on the furniture. It's like, well, no, <laughs> I don't, uh, lab shed tremendously. And, cleaning uh, dog hair out of couches and things is not a fun thing, I don't think. Number one. Number two, um, because of my allergies, um, I don't like to have it. I'm very careful to try to keep the dog hair off my clothes um, and off the beds and up out of the carpet and not in the furniture and et cetera, et cetera. So, um, Yes, I do have dog allergies and um, have very sheddy dogs, but, um, you know, you love them. So, um, I think we'll keep it down here a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, I do want to, I have two... Is it these two? Yeah. These two I made a little narrower than the other ones, as you can see, I think. Because these are for the two that are nearer the top. Um, which is this one. Which I think I'll do next. And let me just check this one and I do believe it's this one no see <laughs> I think it's this one then this I'm gonna put it in upside down I think that might be it let me just check to be sure 
Yeah, I think that's it because I just just lost it inside the pocket. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to take these two and just put them here so that they're with the shorter um, tabs. Okay, so I have this one, and I'm missing a tab, and then this one. So this one is a smidge shorter, so I'll put it with the shorter um, the shorter piece. Okay, I'm going to just draw that line back here so we don't put the glue past that point. And I promise you, before I do another video, I will fill up my glue bottles. <laughs> no. This is... adds to the length. You wouldn't think putting six um, tags that you already have cut and half done, putting them together would be... I've lost my... Oh, here it is. I was going to say, I've lost my little paper towel. Um, it would be a hard thing, but hmm, apparently it can be. I'm trying to keep this where I think you can see it. I think I can come over just a hair more. Let's put that down, and I'm trying to put the pieces to the front. Um, and I know this might look a little, particularly for these, because these are kind of small cards, but you want something as a tab that's going to be substantial enough to... Um, there's just some glue on the back of my fingers here. Uh, to be able to pull that out... Of the pocket so I'm gonna put that one there let's get started on this then um, I think I'll put this one on first just to and I want to make sure that this one's down a little bit um, just to make sure that that will fit into the edge of the pocket without this coming over the edge of the paper. You can see what I mean. That's why I wanted to push that one down a little bit further. So that will work. Okay. My line's a little crooked, so I'll try to make it straighter by... Um, not putting the glue all the way down to the pencil line on the one side. So yeah, so that's, I'm not sure if it's a a protector thing or whatever, but the girls, like I said, they would, the, the dogs, uh, they would, and it didn't matter, um, Isabel was our yellow lab female, um, and she would uh, settle in on that blanket and pretty much not move for the night and Sally was the pit bull mix and she would be the same she'd settle in on that blanket and just I don't think I inked the top of this and just settle in and uh, just stay there all night so um, there we go happier with that um, so, okay, so we're going to put this up on top, up here. We're going to put this one down here, this way. So that's good. So let me try to do this. So I do hear my dog wander, and it didn't matter. I mean, if they were old or, or young, they did the same thing all the time. Very consistent. So... My hamsters were generally pretty quiet. <laughs> they might get up in the night. Then they were kind of nocturnal, but honestly, they'd be awake during the day for a good deal of the day. And uh, they had their habits of collecting their food in the evening, put them in the pouches, you know, in their, the sides of their cheeks and looked so adorable. 
and then they take it over you know to the corner where they would usually sleep and they were all in different cages and I had um, one just at one time Curtis and then I had I'm gonna move this over here so I could see it a little better and then I had another one uh, Thomas um, <laughs> I don't know if I ever told the story. I guess I should kind of back up and explain how I end up with all these animals. I have banned myself actually from going into pet stores because I cannot come home without an animal, it seems. So um, I was going in because, like I said before, I think Gus has allergies and um, is going in to get the uh, the grain-free food. This was some years back. Now you can get it in a supermarket. Um, and when I walked in, there was the little, you know, little animal cage section. And um, as I came around the corner, this adorable little teddy bear hamster just stood up and made eye contact with me. And uh, I looked at him and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I held my hand up and said, miss, and bought the little hamster. I'm wondering all the time what I was going to tell my husband. And it was um, early spring and Easter was not far off. So I told him it was for my son rather than buying my son candy. My son, of course, did not live with us, and he was in college. <laughs> so my husband's like, you didn't buy him for Will. You bought him for you. And I'm like, okay, I confess. Um, yeah, so, um, all right. So this one is going to go down here, and I want to get the writing right because it is opposite on the other side, but... I'd like the front part to have, you know, be going in the right direction. Um, you may, you know, I don't know. I, this one works well because it's individual tags. And I was thinking, I'm getting off on something else. Um, let me just put this on. And then I need to go back and finish the first story before I go off on another tangent. Um, I'll try to remember what I was going to say about this. Um, so yeah, then, so that was, uh, that was Curtis and I brought Curtis home and, uh, Curtis used to watch baseball with my husband. When I would clean his cage, my husband would hamster sit and I would bring him in and put him on the bed. And my husband had a habit of, um, leaning on his shoulder, uh, on his elbows rather, you know, lying on his stomach and, and, um, uh, leaning on his elbows to watch TV or read. Sometimes he would do the same thing. So I would put him on the bed so that uh, all of the hamsters so that they had like a place to run and he was responsible for making sure they just didn't go off the sides. Um, but Curtis, if it was baseball season, uh, would curl up where my husband's arm would go like this. He would curl up on the edge of his arm and put his feet up on his arm and watch television. Um, as long as it was baseball, it seemed. Um, Curtis liked to watch baseball. So um, then I had, uh, when Curtis passed away, um, and they don't live very long, little hamsters, only about three years, uh, two to three years, and mine tended to last three. I was lucky with that. Um, I couldn't stand to look at the empty cage, so... I went to get another hamster. <laughs> yes, I did. And um, so I got another one that looked like Curtis, who was a little brown teddy bear hamster. So I called him Thomas because it sounded kind of similar with the S on the end. And Thomas means twin. So I got Thomas. And then I got Thomas in August. And at Christmas time, I was going in to buy bird food for my birds. And at the time, and well, I had, well, I'll tell you that story too. Um, and I went in and most of the little small animals were sleeping. 
um, except for one. And as I rounded the corner, I startled him and he jumped up and he was white. He was a white hamster. And I was like, okay, you're coming home with me. So <laughs> I named him Stewie because I had a friend who had a dog named Stewie and I just loved the name. So, and all my animals always have people names because they're like, you know, my family. So that's that one. Now we're gonna finish this one. Put this one here. I had, I think, yes, this one's gonna be to the side because I had flowers on the right side on this one and on this one. This one I'm gonna to move to the left and I had cut these out because it had a straighter side here. So I'm gonna put this uh, photograph to the right on this one. So anyway, now to back up, a few years prior to that, we had an employee who had birds and um, his wife developed an allergy to the birds. So he had two cockatiels <clears throat> so, you know, I had to adopt them. He asked if we would take them, and I was like, of course we'll take them. So he gave us, you know, their cage and, um, you know, everything he had and even some food that he had for them and everything at the time. And so we took the two cockatiels. And so those are the only two animals that I had that I didn't name. Um, and they were Leo and Nina. His, um, so those were the names that they had. And then another time I went into the um, pet store, <laughs> of course I did, and um, I noticed that the, uh, and by the parakeets, that they had a cage with five parakeets in it. And you know all the cages in pet stores now are glass so that people can't poke their fingers through and, you know, things like that. And the one cage had... Uh, two green and three blue parakeets and right next to it was another cage that had one parakeet in it and that parakeet was white and white with a little kind of grayish on it and um, I asked why uh, she was kept separate and the salesperson said because she was a like a special uh, parakeet I'm going to just move that up a little bit there and uh, so I was like she was the same price so I didn't understand that but I felt bad because she kept sitting up against the side of the cage that was next to the other cage because she wanted to be near the parakeet so I felt really bad of course I did and I bought her and brought her home so I did that and I put her in a little travel cage that we had for the bigger birds and um, I think I'm done with this so let me cover this up and um, I had put her on this little table that we had a small little uh, just a small like two by four table with a few chairs around it four little chairs around it and um, she uh, I want this one to go up higher I let the glue leak on that one this one's gonna go up a little bit higher so it's not gonna have as much attached which I'm not too crazy about I'm wondering do I want to do it off to the side a little bit um, this one is the one on the bottom I believe I believe that's this one I don't you know I I think I'm going to put it in the middle. I know it covers the edge of the photograph, but I think I'm going to put it in the middle. Um, okay. I'm trying not to move, so because I just have this little edge, and I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible, because that's the only place where I'm not gluing. So, um, anyway, so... <laughs> When I put her in the cage, she kept going to the side of the cage that was nearer the big cage that had the cockatiels in it. So I moved the table over and I spun her cage around so she was 
now sitting on the other side of the cage and she hopped herself over now to the other side of her cage which was now the nearer side to the cockatiel's cage and I was like well you know I can't have this she's lonely um, so I went back to the pet store now my husband was not home that weekend um, he was uh, at his parents house about two and a half hours away for the weekend helping with household chores and things up there and um, so I did have to tell him what to expect when he came home and um, they were so cute because when I put the other I went back and got a green one um, at the pet store and uh, they sat together so molded together that when you looked at them they actually made like a heart shape their heads were like this and came their bodies came down and then their tails crossed they were just so cute and when my husband came home and he's looking at them and I said and you know and I just because it means something to me I said they're not lonely she's not lonely anymore and I kind of started crying a little bit and my voice cracked a little bit and he's like oh gosh okay okay so, yeah, so I don't go into pet stores anymore. I buy all my pet food through the mail because I keep bringing things home. So, okay. I'm going to pull this one out just for the sake of pulling it out. These are now our tags, which are up here, and I don't know how well you can see them. But this one is the one that goes in this pocket up here, and we put that in, and the the tag goes down mostly that one's a little up but you really can't tell and the tab goes over it then this one I believe is the one that goes here and again tag goes all the way down tab goes over the edge this one was this right I think this is what I said and that one goes here and this is why I decided to use the paper rather than the butterflies or anything because it still blended in with the rest of it and I think what I'm going to do is put a couple of outside pockets on and put some tags on the outside so it looks like that's the purpose of the page um, okay this one then goes here like this and you just tip the tag back a little bit and the tab will go over the page this one I made to go this way but it goes in this pocket sideways and just did I glue that down no I didn't <laughs> just tip it back a little bit oh, maybe I did glue this one down now there it goes okay okay I see but I think I'm gonna leave it I see a bit of an edge of this now I can cut it at the bottom but I cut off that little bit and that's really what I'm going to need to cut so I'm not going to do that <clears throat> I'm just going to let this one keep the edge out a little bit and uh, maybe if I pull this back some I might be able to get it to go in a little further eh, it's okay it's okay you can't tell and then this one goes on that side over here and looks like I've done the same thing here. Now I know it fits. So what I want to do, I think I'll just grab a little bit of paper towel. I'm going to try to get rid of some of the glue at the top of the tag where I had glued it down. Let's see if I can get that to go in better. You're not cooperating. And I really don't have room to pull that out. So it's really not that bad. You really, I don't think, can tell. So that is now what that page looks like. So I'm going to bring it up so you can see. You can see where the tabs are, but at first glance they blend. And then all the tags just come out like that and that and that and that so there's all those hidden tags in here so I'm just going to take them out and kind of lay them here for the sake of just closing off the video which took 40 minutes anyway 
So that is our hidden pocket page or our secret pocket page. Um, I will do another video uh, for when I'm going to put other pockets. Like I said, I'll, I'll put other pockets on the outside um, of it and it'll have a tag or two in each pocket and this will be the center because otherwise, you know, you just open it up and say, okay, it's a collage page, but there's really nothing on it because you don't realize that it's got the secret um, or hidden pockets with the tags inside. So we'll put more pockets on the outside, but I just wanted to show you how this worked. And uh, so that finishes that, and then I'm going to decorate the page some more. So that's it for tonight, guys. In the meantime, until next time, um, be safe, be happy, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.